Um, the food that I miss the most from back home is arroz con gandules y pollo y tostones, which is um, rice and beans and chicken and plantains. I think pizza and pasta, like homemade pasta that my mom like just prepared every time after school, before practice, just because it was carbohydrates and there, you're ready to go. <laughs> oh, I miss Kahlua pig, poi, poke, and lao lao, and every kind of fish there is. I just wish I could get some fish here. <laughs> I think that the most fascinating one is the Duomo, which is like our biggest cathedral, and I think it's the third m most biggest cathedral in uh, in the world. I'm pretty sure. Definitely, the anything in the city, the Harbor Bridge, the Opera House, um, Darling Harbor specifically, what's really great. And um, then anything along the coast, so beach-wise, it's beautiful. Well, one of the most famous people is Mark Anthony. Good. To Salsita. <laughs> the most famous person from my area would have to be Kobe Bryant, who lives about five minutes from me. Well, there are a lot of stylists over there, like fashion stylists, fashion designers. I think Armani, maybe. Or actually, no, talking about uh, basketball, Danilo Gallinari. Yeah, he played there, and he was born close to Milan. We have these weird kind of, it's called pigeon. And I speak it all the time around my team and they don't understand like when I say, ho, oh, that's mean. And they're like, what? Ho means like, wow. And mean means like, awesome. And whenever I'm done with something, I say, I'm pal. Pal means finish. Oh, the best phrase is definitely gnarly. Absolutely. <laughs> best phrases that I hear Minnesotans say are, oh yeah, you betcha don't you know, or anything that really exaggerates the O's. <laughs> Actually, like Minnesota, it's completely different from home, but it, it kind of reminded me like of the excitement of a city, because Milan, it's a big city, and it's full of like melting pot and people from different countries, and Minneapolis just really reminds me of that feeling. We go to the mall, Las Americas. <laughs> it's close, <laughs> but it's way smaller, and it's just, one of the biggest malls in Puerto Rico and it's just fun to go there with my friends and just go to every store and have a good day. I try to call everyone in my family, my mom, dad and sister, grandma, um, at least three times a week, but definitely grandpa every day. I talk to my parents, I would say, every day or every two days, something like that. But other than that, I would say at least once a month, I talk to my family back home. I am approximately 2,000 miles away from home. I am 22 miles away from Burnsville. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? I have no idea. I, I know those are many, many miles. 4,444 miles. The best part about being in Minnesota is dealing with snow and ice in the winter. The best part about playing in Minnesota is the fans by far. The best part, I think, is like experience something new, completely new, completely different, that can help you like in the like the growth of your like personal identity. The best part about playing in Minnesota is just kind of representing Minnesota, seeing all my friends and family at every game, and just kind of putting on from for where you're from and just representing your home state. 